Hey, 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 Aries, this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. So let's see what's going on for my Aries here, shall we? Aries, we have the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Five of Wands. Interesting. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries, and comment. Let me know. Aw, Aries, the Five of Wands and the Lovers. Okay. I just heard they're in competition with one another. These beeps, okay? So, hmm, Aries, you're getting your wand on in the in the night of wands here, and I feel like you're gonna have a choice because I feel like there is going to be many that are interested in you if they're not already, if you're not already dating and whatnot. Uh, one could be a water sign, one could be a Gemini, and then we have fire energy, like yourself, Aries Leo Sag. So let's see. Mm, you've got a strong soul connection here. We'll see what that's all about in a moment. But ooh, this Queen of Cups, is this? I wonder if this is the soul connection because she's like staring you down, Aries. Page of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this is the soul connection here, Aries, this Queen of Cups. Now, it doesn't have to be a water sign, right? Because if it's an emperor or an empress, like yourself, then it could be any of the signs. This is just telling me that this person is very creative, very emotional, or can be emotional, but very nurturing and caring and intuitive. Queen of Wands, there you are. Yeah, this is definitely the soul connection here. There's going to be a lot of communication with this water sign Aries. I feel like your, your manifestation or manifestations are going to begin to come quick and fast. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, see the... I'm getting a couple of things from this Three of Pentacles here. I'm getting work, right? Uh, as I'm talking about manifestations, that's what I'm feeling. You're going to be manifesting a lot as far as work is concerned, as well as, you know, like third-party situations. And it actually may be more than three people here. I do feel you will make a choice. Let's see what's going on. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. I also feel with this Knight of Wands, it's not so much that you're being a, a player. I feel like you're outdating, but you're in a creative mode, I'm getting. Four of Wands. Yeah, see, you you want stability. You want commitment. You want long-term commitment. The Tower. And I feel like this Queen of Cups comes in out of nowhere. While you're going about your merry way... And lo and behold, you feel a very strong connection. The star, as I say that. So Aquarius energy. You find this queen to be very healing. Queen or king, emperor, empress, tomato, tomato, you know. Five of wands, please. Oh, that's just like the empress, speaking of which. So I feel like Aries, you being the emperor, you feel that you may just have found your empress or emperor. It's just feminine energy here. I don't feel like you're going to keep this queen or king hanging on for too long. Yeah, see, they won't let you with the temperance card here. They won't let you. They want to bring balance to this situation as quickly as possible. They do not want a lot of peeps fighting. Uh, they don't want that energy around you right now, Aries. It's almost as if they're protecting your energy from getting involved with uh, too much drama, okay? 
Eight of Wands, yeah. So you're going to feel this passion very quickly. You're going to, like I said, you're going to have a lot of communication with this Emperor or Empress. Tell me about the Lover's card. Ace of Cups, this is that new love that's coming at you. What else is here? They're saying that there's a deep space in your heart for this emperor or the empress. This is going to give you a new lease on life, they're saying, with the world card. This is giving you a whole new beginning as far as love is concerned and a beginning that you didn't expect. You are going to be working hard at the same time, Aries, here with the Ten of Wands. But you don't mind that. You're not afraid of work. You are a hard worker. And I feel like... If anyone can balance, I feel as if whoever this is for, you can. All right, so how does this emperor or empress feel about Aries? Ooh, this, oh, this is interesting. Okay. We have the three of swords, the six of wands, and the king of swords. So I feel like they're feeling that you're still cutting away things that no longer serve you. You're seeking the truth within, that's what I'm feeling, and that they do feel that you're gonna be victorious over this, but they also feel that you're still healing from a previous situation. This could be a previous love situation, but this could also just be a healing, it could be familial healing, right? Childhood healing. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be romance. But I told you this emperor or empress is very intuitive. So they can definitely feel this. How else do they feel? How else do they feel about you, Aries? Ah, they feel like you need to be more vulnerable. That you're not opening up right away. And I feel that before you make this choice, this is the case. You're protecting yourself. They may also feel like you have frenemies around you, but I feel like this is related to this five of wands, these people fighting over you. Oh, I shouldn't say fighting, competing. That's, that's more of what I'm feeling competing because even if this emperor or empress has no clue about these other people well so you think they do four of swords see they're just not saying anything and they know that you're not saying anything with this four of swords here they can feel it so what is your advice aries as far as this um emperor or empress is concerned Okay, they're wanting you to shed light upon the things that need to be healed within you. Okay, listen for that communication from your higher self because light will be shed. And they're also stressing, I'm getting past wounds and it could be childhood. That's what I'm getting from this. They're wanting you to seek the truth within something related to childhood and i'm getting like around the age of eight to ten they're saying the fool take a leap of faith this is you aries right so don't be afraid to take a risk take a chance on love here okay take that leap of faith now let's get you a couple all right, what say you for Aries? Aries, what's going on for Aries? Aries, sun and rising. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, the link is in the description box below to my Etsy shop. Ooh, okay, one more. All right, so we have obstacles and capable. Do not dwell on how you are going to surmount obstacles presently in your way. So don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on what is in your way, i.e. these people. <laughs> focus on what it is that you want to feel and create in your world, right? 
capable. You can deal successfully with whatever challenges and circumstances arise. So no doubt, Aries, you can overcome anything. Uh, like I said, I, I get the feeling whoever this is for, you're very well balanced as far as being able to juggle like work and love. It's like, no, I don't feel like one suffers at all. I feel like you're a master at that. Okay. So keep that up. All right, Aries, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, once again, link is in the description box below to my Etsy shop. You have yourself a fantastic day, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.